hello guys and welcome once again to my channel and in the last video we basically looked at invalidating um administrability token and then logging out an admin in today's video we are going to be looking at a redirect whenever the token expires all right basically intercepting requests whenever the token expires so that we can automatically redirect the user okay so basically um in order for us to be able to redirect users whenever their token expires we will need something that is called a http interceptor um, the http interceptor library for the fetch api okay so uh, what i want to do now is i'm just going to get in here http interceptor fetch or react http interceptor fetch yep so the cool thing about react http interceptor fetch is that it works for both angular for sorry for both react and react native all right so right here i'm going to grab this right and i'm going to get back into here open a new terminal and uh I'm going to install this package. All right, so right now this package is done installing our um, HTTP interceptor. Um, if I were to head over to my package, the JSON, you are going to see our fetch intercept right up here. Okay, and let's get over to our auth, auth actions. And this auth action is for who? Okay, so this is for admin. Now let me get into our user auth actions. I'm going to need to create uh, a file http interceptor http interceptor.js all right so we have our http interceptor.js and the first thing we are going to do is we will need to import our fetch intercept so i'm going to save this and i'm going to head back over here and uh, we are just going to see here they have a sample of exactly what we need to do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy the sample right now. All right, so we just copy the sample and get back in here and we are going to paste this sample here. So they are actually calling this function on register, but we call, I'm going to call our HTTP interceptor because that's the name of our file. All right, so HTTP interceptor. So HTTP interceptor and uh, here we would need to pass our store and um, Right now we have our fetch intercept um, the register and right up here we can basically set certain things about our request things like our headers and all that stuff then um, our request error goes right in here so but what we actually are focusing on is not our request error neither is your response error we are basically focusing on our response okay so what we are going to do here is remember this http interceptor is going to serve for both the user and for both the admin so we have to find a way to be able to tweak it to serve both the user and the admin, all right? So what I'm going to do now here is I'm going to say if the response status, so basically if our response status is a 401 response, of course what we can do right now is uh, we can just console.log our response, all right? So if our response status is a 401 response, then the first thing we want to do is we want to get a path, all right? Path, which is basically the current URL where the user is. So I'm gonna say window.location.href. This just helps us get the current path where the user is. And um, what we want to do now is, we basically want to, let me head back over to this URL. And as you can see here that um, the user is always the second here, all right? Uh, the admin also is always the second here. If I were to go to forward slash admin this way, you're gonna see the admin is the second here, forward slash user. You're going to see the user is the second here so if i am to uh, let me log in damian at gmail.com and password is password if i were to log in uh redirect into dashboard yep you can see that the user is the second on this list here so what we can do basically is we can uh, split all these um, by the forward slashes and then we can target the index that this user gives us i think it should be the third index all right uh the http the this guy here and this guy so it should be the third index so what we are going to do now is we are going to say, uh, let me see, we're going to say let um, target string. So the string we're targeting would be part.split. Okay, target string array, sorry. So we're going to call this target string array. And this will be part.split. We want to split this by um, a forward slash. And uh, now that we have the target string array, we want to be able to get this index here. And uh, if I were to copy this right now and just bring this in here, you're going to see right now that we are trying to split by a forward slash. And so we have this guy here. This is one. 
we have this guy here, which is, um, sorry, we have a space here, which is two. We have this guy here, which is three. And then we have this guy here, which is the four, the fourth person, all right? So we're trying to get this guy because we know that um, whatever URL, whether user or admin, always stays by this particular position. Okay, so what I am going to do now is um, we're going to use, uh, we're going to check by the array. So this is zero, this is one, this is two, and this is three. All right, so I'm going to, after we have split this, it actually returns an array. So what we can do now is we are then going to say, let's um, target string, target string be equal to target string array index of three. Okay, so now we have the target string. We are now then going to say if um, target string, basically if target string, if our target string is a user, all right, we want to perform an action. Else, if our target string is an admin, then we also want to perform an action here. All right, so what I can do here is I am going to console.log. Right now, I'm going to say this is for the user. And uh, for you here, I'm going to console.log. And I'm going to, this is, this is for the admin. All right, so now, um, once I have saved this, what I'm going to do next is I need to be able to find a way to call this HTTP insert interceptor within our application. And we need to call it within a global level. And we also need to pass the store, the value of our store. So what I can do is I'm going to go over to our create store. I am going to call our HTTP interceptor. And uh, why is this not bringing it to so? All right, so oh, never mind. Let's just import that. So we're going to import HTTP interceptor, and this is going to come from, um, let's see, HTTP interceptor. All right, so, yep, we are calling HTTP interceptor. It did not export this, all right? So we are calling our HTTP interceptor. So if I, let me just, uh, I call HTTP, yep, interceptor, yes. Okay, so, a HTTP interceptor, and here we are going to pass the value of our store. So right here we are um, calling our HTTP interceptor, and this is within a global scale of our whole application, so that I can be able to monitor whenever any request, all right, basically takes place. Okay, so right now I'm going to save this guy, and uh, what I can do now is I'm going to come over here, and we have an error here saying cannot read property of JSON of undefined. All right, so we know that the application was working properly until we added HTTP interceptors. So we are going to debug this from here. All right, so if response status is 401, we get this. Target string is this, target string is this, console.log. Okay, oh, 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 oh. Are we are supposed to return our response object here? We need to return our response object. So I'm going to save this right now and head back here. And yep, you can see everything works just as expected. All right, what I'm going to do now is uh, I am going to say uh, local storage dot get item. Uh, let's get user. I want us to get our user token. All right, so I'm going to copy our user token. Right, so let's just copy our user token. And now let us log out. So this token has been invalidated. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say local storage to set item and then we are going to pass the token in here all right so just do this and uh, if i do local storage to get item or user token yes this all right so the token that has been invalidated is what we set here so i'm going to go over to view profile and yep uh, you can see uh, we are getting the 401 as our status so what i can do basically right now is I'm going to say if response status is 401, window the location href and all that. So right within here, I can simply say local storage that remove item of what user token, and then I can then do window the location dot href, and this would then be redirecting us to uh, forward slash user forward slash login, and I'm going to save this right now. And yep, you can see that because our it's written the 401, it automatically redirects us back to this user forward slash login. All right, I could also do the same here too for the admin. So I'm going to call 
local storage that remove item and this is going to redirect from slash uh local storage remove item and i think it's called admin token and then this is going to window the location href and this is going to move us to forward slash admin forward slash login all right so i'm going to save this right now and um if i were to set something here say local storage dot set item and we just set uh, let's just set this for admin right so let's set this for admin token and uh, let me go back to home page move over to admin and uh, you can see that it automatically redirects us back here all right so one, whenever uh, we try to process any request it will automatically redirect us once our token is expired and that will do for this video see you next time